There's a magic trick that for some made the tax on their capital gains disappear for years. And when they reappear in 2026, up to 15% of the gains might never be taxed at all. To explain how it works, here's Allison Vespril. Allison covers Opportunity Zones for Bloomberg Tax. Opportunity Zones were passed in the 2017 tax law as a way to encourage private investment in distressed communities. And for doing that, they'll get tax benefits. They can defer taxes or in some cases even reduce their overall tax rate. Cory Booker was one of the co-sponsors of the legislation. And so what this legislation does, if you are an investor and you now suddenly have this major capital gains uh, um, uh, obligation because so your investments are going well, you can roll over that investment, not pay your capital gains, you can roll it over into a, an investment targeted in inner city. The Opportunity Zone program was designed to incentivize long-term investments in distressed communities. After you invest the money that would have been taxed as a capital gain, the taxes on it are deferred until 2026. If you invest by the end of 2021, you can shield 10% of the capital gains money from taxes. If you invested by the end of 2019, you could have shielded 15% from taxes. The benefit is bigger the longer the investment is held in the fund, with the largest benefit coming after 10 years. After 10 years, the growth and value of the project your money financed is tax-free. So just what are Opportunity Zones? Governors in U.S. states and territories nominated up to 25% of their eligible low-income census tracts to be designated as a zone. A census tract is a statistical area of about 1,200 to 8,000 people, so think about the size of a neighborhood. Um, and within those census tracts, you can have a low-income tract, and so that's based on the poverty rates of the area. Then in 2018, the Treasury Department approved over 8,700 Opportunity Zones giving the green light for fund managers to pool money together for qualified opportunity funds. Mayor Soberadaran is a law professor at UC Irvine who has written about opportunity zones. Yeah, the goal is to um, spur revitalization, uh, sort of so that the rest could proceed organically. You get uh, major investors in to bring a business that would bring jobs, that would lead to more uh, people coming in, increased home ownership, and a, a thriving community that would follow thereafter. But how do we know if Opportunity Zones are actually having the desired effect and not actually stimulating more growth in already thriving communities? The Arts District in LA is one example that's been cited. Since the Opportunity Zone uh, program was enacted under the 2017 tax law, there's been some criticism about the lack of reporting required. So there's really not a good way for Congress to determine whether the program is working as intended and actually benefiting these distressed communities. And one report claimed that opportunity funds simply amount to a subsidy for gentrification and benefit already wealthy developers and investors more than communities. I think this is a developer's program. It's a benefit for developers. It will certainly give cities new, um, you know, projects and, and new life. But I, I think that was the whole point. President Trump sees it differently. He spoke about the program in his 2020 State of the Union address. Jobs and investments are pouring into 9,000 previously neglected neighborhoods thanks to Opportunity Zones. It's wealthy people and companies are pouring money into poor neighborhoods or areas that haven't seen investment in many decades, creating jobs, energy, and excitement. Skeptics and champions of the program can agree on some things. One, we're still in the early stages of the program, and two, there aren't any information reporting requirements yet to have Treasury and IRS kind of disclose to Congress whether or not the Opportunity Zones are actually having a positive impact. With the full benefits of investing taking 10 years to mature, investors and community members now must wait and see whether Opportunity Zones are just an illusion or truly magical.